This is the Wood TV Live Desk. He's a digital anchor, Luke Laster, here from our mobile live desk at the CEO Summit here downtown Grand Rapids at the Amway Grand. We're grabbing CEOs, executives, businesses, business owners all throughout West Michigan to do a little conversation about their role and this summit. Right now, I'm joined with Michael Seitzma. He's with KeyBank. Sir, good afternoon. Good morning to you. Good morning. Tell me a little bit about uh, KeyBank and a little bit about your role with it. Sure. I'm the president of West Michigan, which really is uh, the lower peninsula outside of Detroit, Ann Arbor area. So think of kind of the, the main part of the mitten, just not the southeast. Perfect. So we're new to Grand Rapids, okay. but the bank has been around for almost 200 years. I like how you put up your hand there. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's fashion. a traditional Michigander yes. fashion, yes. So tell me a little bit about um, here the CEO Summit. We're back after COVID um, had you know put a pause on, on everything for virtual. How does it feel to be back in person? Uh, it's great. It's essential. Yeah. Uh, I think that's how we do our best work mm -hmm. when we're together. We're collaborating. I think there's a passion to give back into the community, to build, to do the right things. And it's a lot easier to do it when we see our friends and our uh, centers of influence and we can do things together. So I think there's been a, an absence and I think people feel it. Yeah. And when you can come back into the room, you can kind of sense the same, the same energy. It's very yeah. real. We're ready for this and people want to be together. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about... Um, you know, talking about banking, uh, tell me a little bit about what the biggest challenges are right now. Obviously, we are having a very rising inflation, um, economic, uh, you know, indecision. What are we seeing? What are you seeing? Well, it's an interesting juxtaposition because we're in the, the, the phase where we're growing, we're building, and we're adding to our presence in West Michigan. And at the same time, there's a lot of concern from many companies and individuals, what is the effect of inflation? It, it's real and it's, it's pronounced. Um, so how do we prepare ourselves for that? What do we need to do if we're a business and how do we prepare with our clients, our pricing? Everything that we have to do has to have that part in it. But at the same time, there's a lot of demand. So the economy's going well. There's a lot of opportunity. So a lot of pre-planning. Um, I think the stock market has a lot of people worried because along with the inflation fears, you can see the effect on the stock market. And that affects people's savings, uh, their confidence level. So I think on one hand, there's an optimism in West Michigan because we have had a tendency to be successful, find ways to be successful even in down times, but also the reality of having to plan and to get ourselves set to, to get through it. What are some of the biggest questions you're getting? <laughs> How high are the interest rates going to go? When is it going to happen? Uh, are we going to go into a recession? And more specifically, which is where I think we want to be just as a community but as bankers, how do we help our friends, our businesses, our clients? And each one has different issues they have to consider if you look at higher interest rates, if you look at a, a, re, a recession, if you look at what happens to the stock market. So taking the time to learn the issues that are specific to those companies and individuals and then work together to try to build a plan and help them execute it. In terms of stress, you know, people see the high gas prices, the higher inflation, you know, just kind of through the roof here. What is one thing that you tell people to kind of just almost calm them down in a sense and be like, okay, hey, we'll get through this. Let's work. Well, I think some of it is just the can-do attitude. And I think if you are able to listen to a little bit of the, uh, the conversations, I, I kind of take pride in West Michigan that we feel that way. So some of it's we're going to figure out a way to get through it. And then just make some different decisions. Where are the opportunities? So each time something changes or you have a shift or gas prices go up, is there a shift that you can make for your business or for your personal life to help offset that? And it's opportunity actually to find ways to improve. Sometimes it takes those pinch points or those pressure points to have us really think a little bit more outside the box and make a sustainable, beneficial change. In your position, what is something you look forward to um, in terms of staying optimistic for the future? Six months, a year, two years, ten years down the line. Uh, first of all, you might hear a theme. I, I'm, I have a, a passion for West Michigan. I'm a native of Grand Rapids. I love the area. So that's part of it, just seeing what we're doing and the opportunities we have. It continues to be a better and better place to live and to do business. I think the other part of it is with Key Bank, my experience right now is because we are building and growing, the people we're bringing on, the relationships that we're adding and how we serve, uh, that gets me excited too. So I love being with my family. 
and I can also tell you I love being in the office working with our team and being in the community, working with the community. We moved downtown just last year, so we're immersed in it. Um, it's a very short walk to my office, and so the area that I love the most, I'm living right in there. and working in. Yeah. Awesome. Um, one question I've been asking, you know, uh, everyone who's come through here so far, what is one thing you would tell young people, young professionals, um, or students just coming out of school, maybe in that first job, making the looking to make that leap into their second job, what would you tell them? Find something you have a passion for and pursue it, be excellent at it. And, you know, we start our jobs if we come out of school, whatever level we have, and we want to be successful, we want to get started, and that's great, but don't lose your passion. Think, if you see an opportunity for you to make a difference or to make a contribution, it might be in your primary job, but it also might be something that you're able to do on the side, but find a way to make a difference and don't underestimate the impact that you can have. The other part of it, I would say, is value relationships. A lot of things get done in this community through relationships, people working together, collaborating, public, private, across different businesses, all different people coming together to solve a problem. So build relationships, contribute to them, and I think that makes a huge impact on your opportunity on a go-forward basis. Michael, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a look at our mobile Wood TV live desk. Again, we're here all throughout the afternoon at the CEO Summit in downtown Grand Rapids. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you around.